record. All right, and I'm going to hit record. Uh, no, timer here. All right, can you please introduce yourself to us? My name's Dylan Boyd. I'm a math teacher at the high school. I've been there seven years. I uh, yeah. taught for 13. Oh, yeah, where did you teach before NHS? A uh, town called Needham. It's a suburb of Boston. I know Needham because I grew up in uh, Melrose and Concord. All right, so right. Not too, not too kind of that's kind of in between, I think, the two. Yeah, you're like um, a outer suburb or something. Yeah, yeah, totally. Now, um, what will you be teaching freshmen this year? Uh, I have, it's an integrated math one. It's a full year long course, um, split over two semesters, part one and part two. Me and uh, Miss Shardle and Mr. Chastic. Okay, cool. But you guys all have your own classes, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to uh, interview those guys as well. Uh, what, what do you like about that course? Oh, um, our whole approach with teaching math, I think, is um, really exciting. It's, it's different um, from the way I was taught math and probably you were taught math. It's a lot of um, exploration and there's a lot of creativity that's required. There's a lot of uh, communication and thinking through problems and, and it's easier to see reasons why this is something that we're learning. It's less, all right kids, everybody do this. Mm -hmm. It's more like, huh, that's interesting. I wonder what would happen next. What if we did this? That's and cool. a lot of those ideas come from the students. And so this is the, okay. sort of the beginning of that. Um, and I find that really exciting because a lot of students come in sort of not knowing what's really what to expect with high school math. Uh, and I think this is, it, it's, it's a surprise to a lot of students. And yeah, that's cool. I mean, that is the goal, I think, is that it has applications. And I like what you're saying about students get to kind of, it's like a choose your own adventure. Like, well, what if we did this? You know, that yeah. just makes it a lot more engaging, a lot more exciting. Math has been in such a kind of big transition, you know, in the last little while. So it sounds like it's starting to turn the corner. You know, I mean, nationally, you know. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. can you tell us what would you like as a freshman? Okay, my freshman year was a little weird. Okay. Um, it had a lot of transitions and, and maybe that's what people can relate to here. Um, I actually went to school in Needham, that town that I mentioned before. Yep. And um, elementary school and middle school, I was, uh, I had some good, really good friends, but I was also a pretty quiet kid. Mm -hmm. And I was generally sort of really intimidated by school. Um, so I kind of did like under the radar stuff for the most part. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, it was like during that previous year, my parents had split up and, and uh, my mom was beginning a residency and she was moving. And I was, I was moving out mm -hmm. of town. So I was uh, changing schools and I changed, the timing of it was not ideal. Um, I was moving around, like, I think I left in October of my freshman year. Mm. I was with all my friends I'd been with like since first grade, yeah. I was in the high school. And then I was gonna, uh, two months into that, I was out of there and I was yeah. starting a brand new school. Totally yeah. different. Um, Needham was a massive high school. It was so big that on the first day or two of school, only the freshmen showed up. Hmm. And all the, everyone else stayed there because the building was big. Mm -hmm. I remember the big difference when everyone else showed there, it was like a traffic jam, people right. filling the halls. Huh. And my new school, I moved to Vermont, was small, um, you know, about a fifth of the size. My graduating class was 87 people. Hmm. Um, and I started, you know, in like October. So I was joining all my classes sort of in the middle of things. Everyone else had already started. Um, and I do, I remember distinctly that they told me there was another freshman who was in a lot of my classes. They were saying was going to work with me. He's like, he's going to like show me places around. And I do remember the first class we were supposed to have together was keyboarding, which is not like playing a piano. Mm -hmm. It was they actually taught you how to type with right. you know, like touch typing. Yeah. And that's a mixed grade class. It was freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, super scary, all these big kids there. So it's easy to pick Tom out because there are only so many freshmen there, but he right. didn't say anything to me. It's kind mm. of a scary class. <laughs> the class after that was English. It was only freshmen. That was like everybody knew each other. 
that's when he introduced himself. Mm. Um, and I remember very clearly, I did my usual thing. I came in, I sat down at the front of the class. I looked for the teacher, introduced myself. They'd be like, yeah, I knew you were coming. You know, sit wherever you want or sit here. Like they would tell me what to do. But no teacher is there. It's just the kids. And I like sit on a stool in the front. I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of waiting, kind of chilling. And, I, and then there's a group of people and Tom's over there and one of them breaks off and I hear them say to each other like, no, 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 you go. No, no, I'm not going, you go. And finally, one of them turns to me and says, you want to come over here and sit with us? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> lunch was right after that. I ended up sitting with them at lunch and they ended up being my friends for the rest of high school. That's cool. That's a good story. Yeah. That's a good story. So that's something that our freshmen and sophomores and juniors and seniors should remember when we get back in the building, or even if we're not in the building. Yeah, it's going to be a little different. I, mean, I, yeah. I, I think, and there's certainly my classes, I'm trying to think of ways I can introduce people because yep. some people are new and I'm new to all of them. But uh, that's it. That's it. It's a big, it's a big one. Out. One last quick question. What's your favorite thing about Northampton High School? Oh, I think... Um, I have a lot of respect for uh, my colleagues at the high school, um, the, the teachers and the adults and the, the counselors and the, um, the adjustment counselors, the, the, uh, the adults that I've met there um, really um, are really interested in doing a really good job of what they do. And that's different for different people. So it's not all the same. There's a lot of variety. Um, mm -hmm. And for the most part, I have had you know, so many good interactions and conversations with those other adults in ways that I really respect. Um, and by what I mean by that is um, I trust how they are going to be doing their job with the students that we share, which is that's really cool. reassuring to me because it means that I know I can do the best job that I can do and I can trust that that's also happening everywhere else that they're going in the building. Yeah, that's really true. And I think what you say is really true. I think that the, the adults in the building really want to do a good job. I think because yeah. so many of us live in the town. I think it's not just that, but I think that's part of it is that there's a lot of, so many of us have kids in the school system. So it's, it's very um, near and dear. Yeah. It's a well, you, you have no choice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks so much for doing this with us. And, and you guys can look forward to seeing Mr. Boyd in class.